Hi there, it's Azilia here from Tax World. Today, I'd like to talk to you about Section 98 of the Taxes Consolidation Act 1997. Section 98 deals with the treatment of premiums received under a short lease, lease not longer than 50 years, as rent for tax purposes. When a premium is received under a short lease, part of this premium is considered as rent for tax purposes. The amount treated as rent is calculated by reducing the premium by 2% for each year, excluding the first year of the lease term. The formula is P minus P multiply N minus 1 multiply 2% where P is the premium and N is the number of years in the lease. If a lease requires the tenant to carry out work on the premises, the value of the tenant's work is considered as an amount perceived by the landlord and is added to the initial premium. However, if the cost of the work is tax deductible, it doesn't need to be added to the initial premium. If a lease contains an option allowing the tenant to pay a lump sum instead of rent or to surrender the lease on payment of a lump sum, such a lump sum is treated as a premium. If a tenant pays a lump sum to the landlord for altering the terms of the lease, this lump sum is also treated as a premium. Where a premium is paid to someone not connected with the landlord, that person is taxed under case 4. Any sum, other than rent, paid in connection with the granting of the lease is considered to be a premium unless it can be proven that it was paid for some other reason. If a tenant has the right to extend a lease, the first lease term is considered as continuing until the end of the second lease term. Premiums payable in such cases can be considered as payable under either lease. If a premium is payable by installments and the recipient would face financial hardship, they can request the revenue to allow them to spread the tax payable over eight years. However, this period must end no later than the date the last installment is due. A non-cash payment can also be considered as a premium or equivalent amount. In essence, Section 98 establishes rules for the treatment of premiums received under short leases, determining how these premiums are taxed and when they are considered as rent. I hope you found that useful and I'll see you in the next video.